Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today we're going to be putting together a snowy white look and I'm going to be creating some sweater art. So the very first thing for today's video is to pick out the nail sizes for each of the tips we're going to be using. As you can see, these are full cover tips and they are in stiletto shape. I've used them in previous videos and I'm going to be sticking them on with sticky tabs so that I don't do any damage to my nails and I can remove them safely after the video. So this process is very easy. You just apply the sticky tabs, peel off the little plastic uh, on top of them and then just press down the fake nail. After we have put on all of the nails, I'm going to go in with a layer of base coat and I'm going to cure them in the lamp for 30 seconds. And the color that I'm going to be using as a base for this manicure is called Pink French. It's by Quick Gel. As you can see, I'm using a lot of their polishes. Most of the polishes I own are from them and Christian Artesio. And I'm going to apply two layers of this and cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. After that is done, I'm going in with a layer of matte top coat on all the nails. And now we're jumping straight into the nail art. So for the first nail, I'm going to be drawing a straight line right about the middle of the nail. Uh, it's more likely where my free edge uh, ends. For my nail and I'm going to be feeling the lower part and with this white color as you can see it's very pigmented and if yours is not as pigmented you can easily just go in with two coats I'm going to clean out the excess from the sides of the nail and I'm going to be repeating a similar thing for my pointer finger just painting the top part of the nail and then for my middle finger I'm going to outline a heart shape and then I'm going to fill out the rest of the nail with the same white color after those nails have cured, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a layer of matte top coat to all of them. And then I'm going to go in with a very thin detailed brush and I'm going to start adding some details. Now for the sweater nails, you need a matte top coat underneath so you're able to paint without the polish moving. And as you can see here, I'm just using a dotting tool to create little heart shapes for my sweater pattern. And this is super easy, you can freestyle it and create any kind of shapes you like. And then using a clear acrylic powder, I'm just going to take my cuticle pusher and just throw some on top. And after curing it in the lamp for 30 seconds, I dust the excess powder off and I continue to repeat the same pattern to the rest of the nails. If you're interested in seeing different patterns for your sweater nails, I made a video last year when I first started posting videos, but I can definitely make another one uh, just with more updated designs and a more clear uh, method and uh, you know my editing skills have improved since last year so <laughs> I think I can make something a little bit more easy to follow so if you would like that definitely let me know in the comments and I would love to do another sweater and nail design for now I'm going to link it uh, right about now so you guys can give it a watch
For the remaining nails, I'm going to be using this beautiful color by Elixir Polish and it really reminds me of snow. It's super reflective and silvery and pearly. It's really, really pretty. And with this, I'm going to paint on a snowflake and I, at first I was thinking of following the sweater method for this nail as well but I really really liked the reflection of this polish and how um, minimalistic and elegant it looked I know it's like a more complicated design but it just really really doesn't stand out that much while still being pretty so I just kept it the way that it is and I just went ahead and I top coated the little lines uh, afterwards. It was a very you know detailed process, so I didn't want to bore you with it. I also added a few details uh, around the rest of the designs and outlined the little heart. Next up, we're going to be using these beautiful little pearls and those silver caviar beads that you will see soon. I applied some of my Vanilla nail glue and then I started adding all the bling and I made sure to add the little caviar beads at the points where the snowflake was creating little triangles or uh, the edges of the snowflake, um, not petals, I, I don't know what these are called, the lines? <laughs> And I also went ahead and created a design on the other two sweater nails. I just shot it completely out of frame. <laughs> right about now, I thought it was a great time to show you what's on my other hand. And I really, really have been loving 3D art lately. So I used those little oval silver pieces that you saw in the pearl kit and some caviar beads. And then I topped it off with some top coat on top to create those little bubbles. And I just thought they were so cute. After a blink has dried in place, it's time for some much needed cuticle oil. And here's the finished look! I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun to put together. I absolutely love sweater nail art and the white is just so cute for winter and you can literally wear it with all of your sweaters. So I just hope you enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Make sure to leave a like and a comment telling me what you thought and subscribe for more videos every single Tuesday. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week. Bye!